One of the most important things I would like to show here is the beheading of the fish, which is part of the prep for the panhandler fish filleter. Using a relatively stout knife, we do not use a fillet knife. I do not recommend using a conventional fillet knife. We merely pierce the fish at the ear, which is this dark fin. Pierce down and cut toward the back. At that point, merely put the fish on its belly. Pull, do not cut, pull the head away from the body. After the beheading of the fish, the fish is now ready for the panhandler fish filleter. In doing so, we place the fish so that the tail and the fins are on the guide plates. In placing the fish in the flare, we have a line here, a start line, which is basically where the tail goes. Do not place the fish in a back position such as that, or do not place the fish in a forward position, extreme forward position. The whole objective of the flare is, is to put the, put the fins and the tail between the two guide plates. So consequently, what we'll do here is we will fillet a fish to show how simple this is. At this point, we lock the flare, which totally secures the fish. This is one of the advantages because we know how slippery fish are. We know how sharp a knife can be. This virtually eliminates any possibility of an accidental cut or whatever may take place. So at this point, I will enter the knife and I will fillet a fish. At that point, we see that we have one blade parallels the plate on the high side. The shorter blade drops beneath the plate on the bottom side. This acts as the guide to run the knife on each side of the backbone and on each side of the fins. Takes a minimal of time, as we can see, and at that point, what we do is we take a flay off of one side, we take the backbone, the tail, and the dorsal and ventral fin out as a complete unit. Now, as we can see, there is minimal waste. This is extremely close. This is our throwaway. And we have the flay from the other.